Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Divine Elemental. I'm going to do a collective tarot reading for you guys today. Tarot readings are for entertainment purposes only. I'm going to tap into the whole soul journey. So if love comes out, then it comes out. If not, it will help you on your journey to your highest and greatest good. Okay? It's just going to be a bunch of random messages. We're going to start with the soul's journey lessons cards. So... This could be stuff that you need to work on or you are currently working on. All right, regret. I know that I cannot change the past. So letting go of the past, that's a lot. God, Michael Spirit, here we go. Pride, I love myself and I see myself in everyone. Also, don't let pride get in the way is what I'm hearing. And don't overindulge of your overthinking thoughts of regret of your past mistakes. Blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. Yeah, don't focus too much on the blame game here. Like who's right and who's wrong. Let's get one more. God, Michael, Spirit. Okay, or three more. <laughs> uh, we have death. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. Denial, I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. And then we have success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. Bottom of the deck, imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspects of my mind. I'm hearing muse. That could resonate for some of you. I'm feeling um, an ego death here is happening. Spiritual awakening. Realizing that some regrets is coming to life. The things that you've denied. And also loving yourself regardless of, um, of the amount of success that you have. Like financial success is what I'm hearing. All right, let's push this to the side. God, my good spirit messages for the collective at this time to help them on their soul journey. We have covenant, sacred contracts. Number seven, your life path number could be seven, or this is a divinely guided contract. 64, woodwives, adaptability. You guys could connect to nature. This is the shaman deck too, just to let you guys know. Blue could be significant for you guys. I was just drawn to how cool that looked. All right, so we have overflow, overwhelm, and plenty. 43. You guys could connect to water as well. Perfect storm, the courage to step into life. So if you guys are going through transformations, fully embrace that. Don't be afraid of it. 44 could be significant. We have 44 over here. Repairing the veil, forgiveness. I'm hearing forgiving yourself, 45. So we have 43, 44, and 45. So there is some transition, some progress. We have beloved, radical acceptance. I'm hearing burning heart's desire. Number two could be significant. This could have to do with like, um, I almost said twin flames, but like soulmate because the two, you know, like coming together, two of you. Uh, Dust Devil, Moving Out of Stagnation, 15. A lot of transformation, very powerful. I'm hearing going with the flow now, no longer resistance. First breath, beginner's mind, 21. So starting over, going to the basics is what I'm hearing, 55. The Father Gate, bold step forward. I'm almost hearing like going through the gates of the divine 
like jumping in five five could be significant. Fifteen fifty five. The wall obstacles fifty six. I'm hearing no longer seeing a blockage as a blockage, more like a time to rest and reevaluate. Fifty nine. Wailing tree reconciliations. This could have to do with reconciling with your inner voice or your ancestors is what I'm hearing, but this could also be reconcile um, with someone because we did get the beloved card. Lost compass getting back to integrity, 35. So who you are when no one's looking. I'm hearing the divine put blockages in your way, like rejection is protection type of thing. Like everything was meant to happen in this way. It's time to stop being stagnant on um, going forth on a sacred con con contract. Excuse me. This love that you've had for someone or you have for someone could have been very overwhelming and intense for you. I am definitely hearing you needing to forgive yourself to be able to unblock um, your access to the divine. Like you're almost creating a hardship for you. It's time to turn into the, that butterfly um, and embrace it. Embrace life, embrace the storms. You could be going through something very significant that's very hard on the heart right now, too. Because we have lit up hearts everywhere here. You could be into astrology. Connect with the moon. And the stars. I'm hearing you, you found your key though. You found your key to open up the wall in your heart. I just heard I know who she is. Aww, I'm so cute. I'm such a sap. <laughs> I really am. Um... I do feel like you're finding your way towards someone, towards yourself. It could be both with the compass here. Underneath right here is 39 me talks, repairing the body, mind, and spirit. It's so funny because I was just thinking after this reading I was going to take a bath. Because I never used to take baths. Now I'm a bath person. I take baths all the time. But I was thinking of going into the bath and doing like a spiritual bath, cleansing and like meditating. Um, I feel like you guys may be doing this a lot. You could like bubble baths. Could resonate with uh, water. Like mermaids I'm hearing. Alright. On to the next one. It's good energy guys. A lot of waking up. 755 could be significant. Alright, let's see what the angels therapy has. God, Michael, spirit, messages for the collective to help them on their soul journey. Messages for the collective to help them on their soul journey. Why am I having such a hard time shuffling these cards? Do we not want to use these cards? Okay, here we go. Vegetarian, vegan, fresh organic fruits and vegetables give you a boost of high life force energy which elevates your spiritual frequency. This is so cool. 
because my son and I are doing this where we're just eating fruits and vegetables all day and just drinking water and then at night we have whatever dinner is but we have one portion um because he he eats a lot like he can out eat me it's ridiculous um I don't I don't eat a lot though but he just eats excessively so he is finally out of ground and he's all like he went back to soccer like playing soccer and he's like ma I am like so out of shape like I need to get with it I'm like dude just do what I'm doing then you know and he's doing that now so maybe you guys are being called to do that and we did see the me talks also so detox is probably in order we have cancel clear delete um you only oh sorry use only positive words and thoughts as they rapidly manifest as they're rapidly manifesting into form ask the angels to cancel the effects of past negative thinking so eat clean eat better ingest better and also i again I'm, i keep hearing that you need to forgive yourself for the past you could be holding on to something that you regret doing or acting or saying whatever but you need to um you need to forgive yourself we have indigo the person you're inquiring about is an indigo meaning a highly sensitive natural born leader this is giving me pegasus vibes so this person you're inquiring about could be yourself guys yeah visualize success you see yourself doing well in this situation and have faith in a positive positive outcome so if if you guys are thinking of someone else at this time um visualize a positive outcome instead of being drawn to the fear of what can happen and what might not happen and this and that so we're gonna pull if this is about someone <laughs> where you may <laughs> where you may run into them we have train subway rail railway for some reason, I read Subway as the restaurant, so I don't know if it's because I, we were just talking about food, but maybe you guys might see this person in, at Subway. Um, we have Tavern, Drinks and Beverages, Pub Food, Tavern Traditions, God, Michael, Spirit, where could this person might meet their future love? Oh gosh, that's a lot. Okay, I'm going to only take, <laughs> you know what, I already saw it, so I have to take it. The desert. Arid landscapes, dunes and sands, endless horizons. So I'm not going to lie, I don't actually, I'm not getting an actual desert, okay, so don't worry. Um, I, I'm getting more of like... Um, you kind of feel deserted or um, you're in a dry spell is what I'm hearing. Even with the train, I feel like something's coming in fast. I also did get that one movie. Oh shit, what is it called? My Divine Masculine actually was the one that Told me about this movie and i've yet to even get through this movie every time i try to watch this movie it freaking like i get interrupted it's so ridiculous i kind of gave up oh shit what is it called is it called dunes it's with um zendaya the dude from aquaman fuck i'm a bad twin flame i forgot anyways so we have farm on the bottom of the deck, agriculture, works, livestock, rearing. And then we have nightclub, dance floor, neon lights, fuel station, <laughs> refuel and stop, uh, convenience store, charging station. So you guys um, may just meet someone at a gas station. I mean, it's very likely. I mean, the type of work that I do, I, I go to the gas station every day, meticulous. Like strategically like every day around the same time and i started talking to the gas station people like they just know me 
when I show up in a different car, they're like, uh, new, new car. And I'm like, nah, rental. <laughs> Swimming pool, sunbathing, and tanning, pool games, and fun pool party. Uh, this could be something that you guys did too, guys. So just keep that in mind. Uh, bustling hub, social net nexus, lively activities, cultural melting pot. So this could be where you guys live. It could be very, um, like a melting pot of different types of people and link. Tranquil, tranquil waters reflection. So this doesn't have to be for all of you. This could be partial. I mean, we have a huge mix of things going on here. We have nightclub and tavern, you know, um, something to do with transportation um, isolation, solitude here, definite water, and I keep picking that up, that maybe you guys need to go towards water, get your emotions right, um, you guys could like going to farmer's markets, that's where you could meet your person, you guys could like rowing, because I, I see the boat here, or fishing, be careful for snakes around you, could have to do with being in nightclubs, so just be careful. I'm hearing, be careful of your drinks. And then we have restaurant, culinary delights, celebration, dining. So you guys may be going um, out a lot lately. Partying, drinking, hanging out with friends, enjoying life. Just be mindful of the intake. Make it fun, not a habit. Okay. We're going to pull from uh, this deck that I totally forgot what it's called. Starseed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like the worst tarot reader. <laughs> uh. You know what it is? I get my tarot decks and then I throw out the boxes immediately because I have like a little shelf here where I keep everything on it and then I forget what decks I have. All right, so on the bottom of the deck, we have forge, don't follow, path, oh, sorry, pave a new path, be the leader you wish you had. And we did get indigo, which is the person you're asking about is a true born leader. And this could be about you guys doesn't necessarily have to be about anyone else but you. All right, so we have breathe, sorry, breath of the cosmos, my will to thy will, micromanaging the universe. Well, that's super powerful. So your intentions are very, very, very strong and you need to keep it strong because what your intentions breathe out into the world comes back to you. You're the co-creator of your own reality. But micromanaging is basically like very detailed. Not in the so much of how it's going to work out. Very detailed with when it works out. Visualizing yourself there with that person. We have called soul gifts and training. It's time to step up. Yeah, no longer denying your ability. You're going to walk through this galaxy door is what I'm hearing. You're going to jump into the divine. Embrace your gifts. <laughs> I just heard I don't care if I'm the weirdo anymore. <laughs> this is your true calling to get you out of the mundane. Then we have child of the cosmos. The intelligence of the universe lies within you. Yeah, and again, lighting up the heart chakra. You know, um, lately I've been, I, I have this ability where I can like shut off my emotions. It's, it's probably one of my most toxic traits. Um, if I feel like I'm being too hurt or played with, I just like shut down like vampires. They turn off their humanity and I just stop feeling. Um, and... It's, it's almost because it's like I feel like my emotions control me sometimes and people know that my love is unconditional and they'll just keep playing on it and pulling on it whenever they feel. And uh, lately I've been getting from, you know, 
my meditation and all that 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 this is my gift the way that i keep my heart open and the way i can live through life and all these bad things happen and i bounce back even devastating bullshit you know i bounce back it's because my power comes from my heart so even though people may treat it poorly or they don't know how to handle how deep my love is it doesn't mean that i should close it off because it closes off my intuition and it puts me in a I don't know what to do now, where do I go kind of thing. So maybe the divine is telling you just that, you know, to keep your heart open because that is where your power lies. The depths of your soul is through your heart is what I just heard. Damn, that one kind of got me. All right, fall into my arms, surrender, holding the opposites, extremes of life. I'm, I'm getting the divine mother is holding you. Yeah, be safe in my arms is what I'm hearing. That they got you. Your spiritual guides got you. Surrender. Trust. We have trust the timing. Trust the wave you came in on. Time is not running out. So be patient with yourself. Do your healing. Know that each step is taken. Sometimes not right after. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time, but stop rushing the process. Stop thinking that you're running out of time. You definitely could relate or um, resonate with like planets because we have cosmos both. Definitely a, a sky, sky baby is what I heard. Um, but I'm, I'm definitely getting chosen like you were called to do this even if your family wasn't you could be the black sheep of the family i giggle because i heard rainbow sheep of the family <laughs> which is a joke that i say like with me i'm not the black sheep i'm the rainbow sheep of the family yeah your aura could be very powerful and just because you haven't followed your calling thus far doesn't mean that the divine has given up on you is what I'm getting to tell you. But it's time for you to step it up. It's time for you to forge your empire. Bring the spirituality into the 3D. Yeah, see? Starseed. Empathic starseed, energetic sovereignty, absorb him what's not yours. You could feel like someone's holding a mirror towards you and you're seeing all these things that are triggering you, but it's healing you though. It's, it's actually a blessing. Um, it could have to do with your heart. Their heart could be mirroring, mirroring into you. Like, I'm almost seeing, like, a burst of light, like, kind of almost exploding your heart. And, um, it, it's giving you power, though. Yeah, and then underneath all of that is the great severing. Mars energy, anger, conflict, softening to love. Yeah, you could hide behind a very masculine energy, um... Where you put your wall up and you hide behind like being angry or controlling and maybe start conflict to make yourself feel better about yourself. But you're, you're softening your guard, your exterior to love. gonna pull from the angels of abundance and then we're gonna close this up don michael spirit last minute messages for the collective that is watching at this time to help them on their journey we have dreams of abundance it is safe for you to receive 
So we'll start with dreams of abundance. As you sleep, God, your angels, and your higher self are giving you divine guided ideas. This could be through dreams, guys. Side note, answers and solutions. Be sure to record your dreams in a journal. Oh, I didn't even know it was going to say that. <laughs> Uh, because they contain valuable insights that will help you manifest your desires into reality. So visualizations, um, dreams come into as visions sometimes. Just be very uh, calculated in the details that you pick up from your dreams. And then we have, it is safe for you to receive. You guys could like deers. Or you like feeding deers. They love apples, by the way. Um... The more you allow yourself to receive, the more resource, resources you have available to share with others. Open your arms to receive and be a conduit for good coming to you and through you as it bless, blesses the world. So don't try to control situations is what I'm getting from this. Be open to receiving um, stop pushing away your blessings is also what I'm hearing. Stop stopping it because it's inconvenient for you. Go with the flow. This is divinely guided. Let it flow through you. Let it come to you so it can just pass, pass its way. Um, you are a blessing to the world. And you are that important to be chosen by God. Take a, take a divinely guided chance. All positive change and successful ventures involve a degree of risk. And you are ready to follow your divine guidance to new territories. As you leave behind that which is comfortable and familiar but no longer appropriate for you, you make room for new and more meaningful opportunities. You know, I'm being drawn to these kids because we did pull a card that says, be the leader you wish you had. So you guys could be dealing with a lot of childhood wounding right now, but I'm also being drawn to like two kids specifically. Um, it doesn't have to be, you know, take it if it resonates, but more of like, if it is childhood wounds, be the leader, be the parent you wish you had. Could have little angel babies. All right, guys. I hope this really helped you. I really, really do. If you want to have a conversation, we can in the comments. I, I don't mind. I wanted to do more readings like this where it's soul-based and not just love. I know the love aspect helps us, copes with us, and there's messages in between to um, help us on our journey. But... Sometimes being reassured that you were chosen and it's not all in your head is also a great thing to know what to work on and what to do and to trust yourself and believe in yourself. So hit that like, subscribe, peace.